All right, back to the city of Crabston. Going to continue expanding our residential area out there and uh guess I don't really have like a name for that section of the map. But kind of the the northwest section of our city. Out here, this area. Last time we put in this area here. Uh, yeah, let's play. Play, 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 play. Oh, hang on. Looks like we need to turn day night cycle back on. All right, uh, I think we want to just this mode here. And probably do some intersection marking. And there. here uh, we want to change the endpoint there and Yes. I don't know if I want it though. Let's not do that. Get rid of that one. We'll have it like that. Uh, one thing I did want to do was. Use the speed limit for this. It's coming off at 30 miles per hour, so it's kind of weird to go up to 40 and then down to 25 for the residential area. So. got people actually walking over here. Where are you headed to? Oh, 
Okay. City, water, garbage. Where's the garbage going? Yeah, it is a Monday. We're gonna have everybody going into work. In a few hours. The fire over here. There they are. They were zooming. Hmm. Maybe I should have the four lane road all the way through here. see why not uh let's see hit the upgrade button okay. of course that does remove those people who are parking along there Might not be super happy about that. Are these all black? Oh. Does real time turn off parks at night? Maybe. Uh, I wanted to see if we can get like a really big park in here. Apparently not the really big.
I'm still trying to figure out how the heck would be a good way to get parking in here. I think I'm gonna have to do Parking lot roads buildable. I don't think they're buildable. Actually, just need flatten some area here. Where is that? Where's that road go with it? Right near that walkway. So let's see about a parking lot road, perhaps. Going something like this. I think that'll be pretty good. squeeze in any camp spots here and we'll just put a couple of right ones in the middle um yeah. oh no why is that Unlock. I feel like it's like X or Control X or something. See the boundaries better. Hmm. 
Needs to be something like here. Uh, let's call that close enough. people will use that parking. We'll have to wait and see. Is this one of those? Okay, it's a road maintenance truck. I was like, who would drive in here and not park? the terrain like over here carb up with yakisoba the noodle masters no matter what stage of life you're in we have the perfect noodles for you from birthday noodles to wedding noodles all the way to those most final of noodles every occasion has a noodle at yakisoba so experience something different yakisoba it literally means Fried noodles. The Brontosaurus. For millennia, these gentle and graceful giants roamed the earth, grazing off the lush vegetation of the time. Their mere existence transformed the landscape. I wonder if I should have put in a little bit of it's high density shopping here. It's that legacy that Dino Oil is proud to continue by using their eons old dead bone goop to fuel your five door wagon, making it the oldest form of recycling there is. Dino Oil. Oh, it's 540. Embrace the power of the He's trying to get some people going to work. Welcome back to Mars official radio. Due to the dynamic and irregular environment in schools, I was dissatisfied working as a teacher. Instead, I went back to the university and studied astrophysics. Physics is the science of matter, its motion, and its behavior in time and space. Astrophysics is the science of things like dark matter, a form of matter that neither emits nor reflects electromagnetic radiation. We don't know if it really exists, uh, but it helps us explain the irregular movements of galaxies. Yeah. Hmm. It obviously didn't get rid of all irregularities. After a little talk, it's time for a little music. That's regular. I think we're going to turn off the landfills temporarily. Just so that all the trash goes to the incineration plant. Just to get that filled up that it's processing as much trash as possible. Uh, the other thing we could do is we could empty a landfill. And that will send a 
Trucks full of trash to the incinerator here. Is the capacity of a landfill? I don't even know. I wish that it would tell you instead of just such and such percent full. thing is full now. Stop emptying that lens. And we'll turn it off. Er, leave it on. I also want to stop people from parking along this road now that we put well, actually, we're not using those landfills. Well, yeah, let's just turn off parking along this road anyways. So that people don't park their cars in the way of the garbage trucks. this and thinking we should have a little yield here this looks with that way I think that's the only conflict. Do that, and then we'll also put in... Uh... Intersection marking. Same on this side. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da.
Dark teeth. Uh, really, the triangle should be like way up there, but I don't think we can really do that without. Changing this to be way up here, and then it screws up the texture and the curve. Just leave it back there. It rains too fucking much in this game. Reminds me of uh, Forza Motorsport. There's a rock. Don't know why there's a green rock out there, but... It's there. Yeah, we've got like this thing where all these special industry buildings... I think they start work earlier than the regular work time. They don't really conflict on the traffic with the... People who work in the regular industry buildings, because they just come into work a little bit later. Oh, we don't even have this thing even properly set up. I 
I not intersection marking tool this thing in my Yes not. <sighs> Let's just try to... Get the basic stuff in here. That take a little bit though. Uh, whoops. thing. Obviously we could add to it with the little line things to indicate that the lane is splitting and merging and stuff like that, but that's the, that's the basic line. What 
coming in here, like doing the circle to... and parking in the parking what does lot. What feel like to steer a river? What does it smell like to smell a mountain? At Jubilee, we're committed to letting you do the impossible. And now we've succeeded in letting you drive the undrivable. The Jubilee Dementia. The car engineer said shouldn't be made. Test drive one today uh, and experience what scientists for decades claimed was beyond the realm of safe driving. Jubilee, be reasonable. Did burn through pretty much all the garbage reserves. Maybe we go back to soybeans, fungi, wheatgrass, kelp, algae, microgreens, and giant potatoes. Even I don't know if there's a good way to do this. Less enlightened colonists. Unlike you, I worry that if I leave this on emptying and then it'll and constantly keep this incineration plant full and then garbage will not be properly collected from the city. I don't know if there's a way to solve that without building... Well, even if I build another incineration plant, this will just fill up that other incineration plant also. Uh... And if we turn on a landfill, this will just start emptying into that landfill. Now this landfill could still send out trucks to go get garbage as needed. But at some point, all the trash will just get moved over to the other landfill. And then I'll just have to keep managing it and it'll just be... I think the traffic's just too spread out in the morning. Obviously that's like a good thing, but I feel like it's unrealistic. There should be a lot more people coming to work at more of a last minute timing. There's a tree in the road. See, now it stopped raining, but it's like all foggy and shit. Maybe I just turn off dynamic weather. Still a little bit foggy. I don't know if that's something else. You need like a mod to disable. Thank you. 
Uh, maybe we put a parking lot right here. How well is that gonna work? Uh, that ground is not terribly level. So, the problem is if I delete the roads here, and then level it, and then rebuild the roads, I'm not sure if I could have got a accurate recreation of the, uh, the curve here, such that this, like, goes straight like it currently does. That's why I opted to use lawn to just move the road down. Uh, looks like it's still slightly higher over here. lot in here. That would be a little steeper up near the train tracks. Um, we could move the train tracks a little bit. I specifically wanted the parking lot on this side of the road so that people can just walk through here without having to cross the street. So I don't want the parking lot in there. Uh, but yeah, this didn't really quite work out. But we might end up putting parking lots in here then. This one's pretty flat. This is probably our best spot. I was thinking maybe we put a parking lot road across, but... The 
this will be pretty cool. should remove some of these people who are parking along the street here to go shopping. People might still do that over here. If they're trying to shop right in here, but for the most part. Cool. We've made an improvement. Yeah, they'll park here and then they just walk right over here. Never have to cross the road. The only thing they might have to contend with a little bit is cars going in and out of the parking lot. Uh, but that's kind of unavoidable. I really wish I could see better. It's a little bit steep over here. This other stuff is. Mm, yeah, it's also kind of steep. We're gonna avoid this section here, but I think we wanna smooth this out a little bit.
Whoops. Oh no, that was the wrong tool. Fuck. Hopefully I didn't waste too much money. All this. Soften one of the slopes. Lights, camera, movie. There's nothing like watching a movie to take you to another place or time. And there's no better place to watch than Chrome Cinema. And no better time than the time it takes you to get from where you are to where we are. You'll break box office records of fun as you take a trip to Tintinsaltown Movieville, USA. Action, cut quiet on the set. Our theaters feature noise absorbing fabric, guaranteeing the only thing you hear is the movie. Yeah, ultimately, I want to connect this to the highway, but when there's nothing for your ears to hear here. So come on down and I don't want to worry about that exact connection for now. As people can just get out to this highway very easily. Hospitals, retirement homes, so let's and of just course, continue schools. this thing As out a trained here. Educator, I believe that Mars will need a custom educational system, more efficient and less time consuming. How do you think the school, how do you think the system should be designed? Share your thoughts. Write us a letter. Listen to this. I need to kind of probably curve it something sort of like this so that it's like gonna ultimately be fairly perpendicular to that highway somewhere around here Trees on the road. But yeah, we got a pretty big area here that we're gonna I want that four lane. Uh, we do have special zoning along here. 
the middle is on the wrong side. that problem. Yeah, these people weren't able to park in front of their house. So. Was it not ideal? Put some salt here. I don't know which of these lanes goes to which of these lanes. Uh, I think we want at least some solid one. Yeah, you really you'd want ideally a dash you could use these to force them to so maybe we do that
And we could even straighten these out. This. Great. As you bring in the node controller, it wants to do something crazy. is this such a ridiculous thing. Like, why can't I move that forward? That's weird. Because it's this. I don't know. Let's not think too much on it. <laughs> Like this being three lane highway, a, a lot of the highways in this game just defaulting to three lane highway is overkill. This should probably not be so many lanes. Uh, it'll be more justifiable once we've really filled in the area here though. Similar to that other side. Let's see the slopes. Thank you. 
We got something like that. And I guess we're going to do something up here also. It's going to leave that one like that. something across the center here. Can't see the freaking greens. If I put two to this section here, because I'd prefer vehicles coming out of this area come to here and make a right turn rather than coming to here and making a left turn. I'm not sure if I'm going to block a left turn here. Because I didn't block a left turn over here for these people to come out so that they can get to the highway over here quickly.
Oh no. Oh, what the hell? This isn't even the type of road I wanted. How'd that happen? first. for nothing yeah you do what's the catch there is one anyone who wants it can have it you just have to ask for it our three-day sleepaway camp is the perfect place to strike it rich who are we well we're the number one dream makers in the region and you are a motivated driven confident individual who has a desire to make it big run don't walk get your heart rate above 120 this is exciting this offer is just for you because you deserve it come alone so don't wait the early bird catches the worm and the worm is a bus at 143 industrial way that leaves at dawn so grab destiny by the horns go on grab it it's yours for the taking money for nothing while we are pleased to be broadcasting to our home planet we request that earthlings please stop sending letters of inquiry regarding the martian personality type Yes, in comparison to the median earthling, we are all very intellectually driven and rational. Get over it. Where's the snapping? to do a bunch of 
changes to what areas are zoned and stuff. What a pain. Halfway there. Uh, we could start zoning now, but yeah, I don't want some of this. Some of this will be disastrous. Okay, we upgrade. Oh, these shouldn't even have shit on them. Alrighty then. Uh, I'm trying to decide, do I leave some room in here for... ...hopping or anything? The other thing was... don't have any elementary schools out here, which we probably should.
do that, and we'll put a small parking lot there too. How's the population looking? Plenty of old people retiring. What time is it? I'm going on over here. People need the garbage. I think we're gonna build a second garbage incinerator somewhere out of here. City residential time. I'm having trouble deciding if I want to leave some space for something in here, but I can put some stuff in these other areas that I haven't filled out yet. I think we're just gonna go block this stuff in. Electricity's already across. That was easy. See water. Thank you. 
Alrighty then. We got people getting off of work soon. It's fucking weather, man. Get the garbage here. Garbage trucks in use, 15 out of 15. Garbage trucks in use, 22 out of 27. Gonna be new stuff. MPE stuff. Um. Just road. How's this even work? Okay, that did something. Okay. That did roughly what I wanted it to do. This farther. Why 
Why does this go from green street? I guess that's kind of fun. Oh shit. Graphic time! My favorite time of day. Uh, do these guys have a yield? They do have a yield. We could put a Certainly a lot of cars over here. Could give them a dedicated lane for getting off the highway, but... Still probably be trying to shift over to the left anyways. Most of them. Anyone who buys at least two games of bowling. Most of them probably aren't trying to turn right here. Don't wait, book a lane now. Due to recent incidents, the chili will only be distributed at the Not like it's super backed up though anyway. In a park, at home, or on a construction site. In the meantime, you'll have all the fun that bowling can provide. So come on back and be reminded that you're not actually that good at bowling. Andy's bowling alley. You're listening to Mars Official Radio. I'm your host, Penelope Eskelin. I left my home country when I was in my 20s. Coming to a new culture is quite a challenge. Over the years, I noticed how I absorbed parts of the American culture. The personality I have today is the result of that fusion. I believe that I influenced America too. On a meta level, the exact same kind of absorption is taking place right now, on Mars. I'm changing, and the planet will change too, developing according to its varying culture. Next track, please. We go for two left turns here. Well, really, want to have to redo the intersection marking.
Uh, but yeah, traffic's about done. <laughs> Holy shit! Well, they did use the parking lot over here. Obviously, that's a good thing. That's fewer cars parked out here for people trying to go shopping in this area. Fucking pedestrians. Uh, how are we doing on jobs? Which tab is that again? Um, the levels one, right? Good. Yeah, we're getting more and more unfilled, uneducated jobs. As, uh, old people are retiring. If we keep expanding the city, the new people will, of course, take a lot of those jobs. Extremely low unemployment. bit short on uneducated workers but that is perfectly fine with me uh, let's give this a district So we build stuff up there later on. Don't currently plan to, but things don't always go according to plan.
Uh, let's... Building some more roads here. Before everybody freaking... Builds all their houses and we get the demand popping up again. I'm also wondering if that fire station is really enough for this area anymore. Our air is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Guideline is, but the guideline's not coming out. What the fuck? Okay. Still a lot more to do. A lot, but feels like a lot.
That looks good. Kind of. It looks kind of good. so much more to do. This is going to be really screwed up. Stuff in the dark is not ideal. so much time on this stuff.
a little bit haphazard. It's Super Salmon Days down at Fish Brothers. For a limited time, bring in any fish hmm. and get a child salmon entree free. You heard right. Bring in any fish and get a free child salmon and entree. And I mean any fish. Got a swordfish lying around? Bring it in. Got a goldfish you're sick of feeding? Bring it in. Got a fish that's been sitting in the sun for a few days? Bring it in. We'll throw it in with the rest of them. What we do with the fish is nobody's business but ours. Just, just enjoy your salmon $8.99 with our famous stew. So, welcome on into Fish Brother Seafood themed restaurant where everything's a great. Got a pretty place. flat area here that we can definitely Lights, throw camera, in some movie. parking for like something. To take you to another place or time. And there's no better place to watch than Drone Cinema. And no better time than the time it takes you to get from where you are to where we are. You'll break box office records of fun as you take a trip to Tinseltown Movieville, USA. Action, cut quiet on the set. Our theaters feature noise absorbing fabric, guaranteeing the only thing you hear is the movie. That high pitched shuttle drone is normal. I uh, will plan that out more. There's nothing for your ears to hear here. Next time. So come on down and Our day is just about finishing up. But yeah. Generally not building stuff along these four lane roads. Please stop sending letters of inquiry. But the Martian personality type. Definitely do a parking lot here. And then like on the next road over or something have shopping for people. And yeah. I also mentioned earlier we were having it's about maybe needing like another fire department and we need to also squeeze like some parks in here and stuff so some of these spots here we've got room that we could squeeze in a park let's where's that really big one that I can never fit Ah, uh, the stupid thing. Without changing the grid. Why 
Why is it letting us place here? Should be complaining about flipping with the road, but it's not. Was it because of that song? Maybe that's the problem. It's already occupied. Okay, now it's properly complaining. Something like that. That'd be good. Uh oh. End of the day. So yeah, we will add in uh lots more residential in there next time, obviously as well as a little bit of shopping and a few more parks and stuff. Tuesday. Way too many cars out here. Or like it's Monday night. Midnight, basically. Um, yeah. Let's see here. Not the day night cycle. Uh, so yeah, we finally built the garbage incinerator. Uh, it's not quite enough by itself. How much money do we have? Our money has gone down a lot. I don't know how much of that is from building roads and stuff. Because uh, that was... A concern with the garbage incinerator was that it has a very high upkeep cost. Uh, and it's not quite enough to burn all the garbage that we are currently producing. And to actually get rid of the landfills, we'll definitely have to get another incinerator. Or maybe even two by the time we... If, if, as our city keeps growing, we need more and more garbage processing capability, obviously. Uh, so yeah, this is slowly filling back up. How is this doing? Not too bad. Uh, but yeah, we built more landfills that we're gonna be turned off so that we could fill up the incinerator, but we're gonna, this, this lens fill is gonna fill up, so we're gonna have to turn those back on like one at a time. Uh, but the, uh, the garbage incinerator is essentially greatly slowing, at least, how quickly that we fill the landfills, so that's good at least. But yeah. Building our new area up here is 
Making a little bit. We've got a lot of uh, zoning stuff to fix. Like we probably don't want zoning right here, so we would want to select this and then turn off the zoning and upgrade that. Fix a bunch of little things like that before we. Uh, actually zone those areas and of course we've got a little bit more room to build on the other side of here and I wasn't planning on building over here I think it's a little steeper yeah it's a little steeper over there but we can definitely build out here a bunch more and then of course next we will build on this other quadrant Uh, and yeah, we'll have to keep an eye on the traffic for this area as we continually fill up this area. It's going to be uh, more and more traffic at some of these intersections and in the, the traffic circle, of course. I think the... Uh, <coughs> Uh, the roundabout is probably going to be fine. Um, but we'll see. We might end up getting like lots of people over here driving over here to go shopping or something instead of going on the highway this way like they would uh, go to work or whatever. So... Yeah. Lots of stuff. Elementary school is fine. High school is fine. Oh, uh, yeah. Keep expanding. Make the city bigger. Slowly bigger and bigger. And once that section's done, then get over there. Still got a probably with all the new people that are moving on, we're probably gonna need more jobs, I imagine. I think is they're 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 still gonna be filling in the jobs that people are retiring from. So we got all these people that are retiring, so the jobs are several hundred jobs are still unfilled. Uh, but yeah. The other thing, though, is once those retired people... Uh, die off, and then, like, new families move into their houses, then at that point... Might be at the point where we need more jobs again. Hard to say. Kind of a cycle of people uh, entering and leaving the job market. But Obviously, all the kids are getting educated so that they get the, uh, they take the higher paying jobs and not the uneducated jobs. But yeah, let us...
Call it a day. Grab stick. 